Revelation 1 verse 19 time, times, and half times mark. Revelation 1 verse 19 therefore write the things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which will take place after these things. The Apostle John is the one who wrote the book of Revelation, likewise the Gospel of John, and his three epistles. But the Spirit of the Lord told John to write a testimony. The Spirit of the Lord inspires scriptures to be written to educate his people. Moses wrote the Torah, David the Psalm, Solomon the Proverbs, and the Apostle Paul wrote many epistles of the New Testament. Still, they all gave the Holy Spirit credit. Many read the Holy Bible like an ordinary book, but it is not. Jeremiah, Hosea, and Esther all wrote books, but gave the Spirit of God credit. Trying to read the Word of God, like an ordinary book, will confuse a person, especially if that person is not truly born again. The books of God's Word are not in the correct chronological order. The events happened in Ezra slash Nehemiah long after David and Solomon wrote Psalms and Proverbs. Many Christians believe what is written in Revelation is the prophecy that will happen in the future. The Spirit of the Lord showed John that war occurred in heaven long before God created the earth we live on. The Spirit shows John that Lucifer was cast to the earth long before he wrote Revelation chapter 12. Revelation 12 verses 3 to 9, Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 1 How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning! How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations! 13 For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. Luke 10 verse 18 And he said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Then the Spirit shows John that God had sent his Son, as an infant child, and fulfilled the Messiah's promise also that he would return back to his heavenly throne. Revelation 12 verse 5 Isaiah 9 verse 6 For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Luke 2 verse 49, And he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? 50 But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Acts 1 verse 9, And after he had said these things, he was lifted up while they were watching, and a cloud took him up out of their sight. The Spirit also shows John that the devil tries many times to stop God from fulfilling the Messiah's birth promise a few times. Revelation 12 verse 17 Genesis 3 verse 15 And I will make enemies of you and the woman, and of your offspring and her descendant, he shall bruise you on the head, and you shall bruise him on the heel. Ezekiel 28 verse 13 You were in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone was your covering, the sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. Ezekiel 28 verse 16 By the abundance of your trading you became filled with violence within, and you sinned, therefore, I cast you as a profane thing out of the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the fiery stones. Jesus told a Jewish high priest flesh understands flesh, and the spirit understands the spirit. Nicodemus, a Pharisee, knew the Torah, Psalms, and the Proverbs. Still, he could not recognize Jesus as the Messiah who Moses wrote about was talking to him. The Holy Bible is not in chronological order, the historical events reported in Ezra and Nehemiah happened long after the Psalms and Proverbs. When you read the Holy Bible, Ezra and Nehemiah appear before the Psalms and Proverbs. To understand the word beast in Revelation means nations, one must read Daniel. To know the signs of the coming of the Son of Man, you and I must read the parables of Christ. To understand the mark of the beast or who the Antichrist is, you and I must read about the little horn from the book of Daniel and the three epistles of John. Flesh and blood will not enter the kingdom of God and sure will not understand. Spiritual Prophecy God bless you all, the Lord Jesus loves you, and so do I.
his humble bondservant, Samuel Jerry Head. Daniel 7 verse 19 Then I wanted to know the true meaning of the fourth beast, the one so different from the others and so terrifying. It had devoured and crushed its victims with iron teeth and bronze claws, trampling their remains beneath its feet. 20 I also asked about the ten horns on the fourth beast's head and the little horn that came up afterward and destroyed three of the other horns. This horn had seemed greater than the others, and it had human eyes and a mouth that was boasting arrogantly. 21 As I watched, this horn was waging war against God's holy people and was defeating them, 22 Until the Ancient One the Most High came and judged in favor of his holy people. Then the time arrived for the holy people to take over the kingdom. 23 Then, he said to me, this fourth beast is the fourth world power that will rule the earth. It will be different from all the others. It will devour the whole world, trampling and crushing everything in its path. 24 Its ten horns are ten kings who will rule that empire. Then another king will arise, different from the other ten, who will subdue three of them. 25 He will defy the Most High and oppress the holy people of the Most High. He will try to change their sacred festivals and laws, and they will be placed under his control for a time, times, and half a time. 26 But then the court will pass judgment, and all his power will be taken away and completely destroyed. 27 Then the sovereignty, power, and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven will be given to the holy people of the Most High. His kingdom will last forever, and all rulers will serve and obey him. 28 That was the end of the vision. I, Daniel, was terrified by my thoughts and my face was pale with fear, but I kept these things to myself. Matthew 5 verse 18 For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. 19 Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments, and teaches men so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven, but whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. 20 For I say to you, that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven.